Brian and Kenzie in the morning, and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101, and uh, before we get to sports, we have to continue a little bit of this French fry conversation as people having glorious stories of what they found when they ordered French fries or something else at a fast mm-hmm. food restaurant. This mm-hmm. started because a French fry factory closed in New York because people aren't apparently buying enough fries anymore because of inflation, and it's causing people to lose their jobs and not enough French fries to be built. And I won't have this, and I want everybody to go out and buy some fries today. But we had Jake checking in from Elgin, who said, this one time at McDonald's, I ordered a regular cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. When I got home, it was a triple. Oh. I literally started dancing. <laughs> I was telling you, someone else had the worst day ever, though. What do you mean? Somebody else had a oh. regular cheeseburger, oh. and they wanted a triple. See, you know what's funny is you took it that way. I just took it that there's someone there was going, I'm going to pay it forward and throw two more slabs on this thing. <laughs> I know, because I'm usually on the receiving end of the mistake. Oh. And I'm like, oh, come on. Well, listen, Jake and Elgin, I hope you played the lottery that Amen. day. And just like the guy we talked about earlier who found a mozzarella stick in his chicken fries, I hope oh. both of you played the lottery and are living this incredibly rich life. What a of beautiful going, time for you. Oh, both. Just, beautiful time. just incredible. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. Sports. All right, so the Blackhawks opened the season last night at the Utah Hockey Club. And they lost 5-2. to two. Oh. First game, first goal, first fight, all for that Utah Hockey Club, the inaugural season for this team that came from Arizona. And it's the first win in, I like they say it's the first win in franchise history. It just sounds so huge. Uh, but it's true. Uh, it took months and months to reach this point in Utah's introduction to the NHL. And it took less than five minutes to score the first goal against the Blackhawks. Now, again, I want us going into this Blackhawks season unlike we do with all of our other teams. Let's enjoy it because we have Connor Bedard. Let's not count wins and losses with the Blackhawks this year. Can we all agree that? I know we probably can't, but I'm saying why can't we have one of our teams because all of them are disappointing, except for the Bears Wait, you right don't now. Want to like pay attention to the basically win- to how they're doing? The wins and losses. Let's just forget about that. Why is it like like Be- because four we- year olds playing? That's what you do. I need one, Kenzie. I need one where I, I'm not emotionally invested and upset and angry and sad. I just need one team in Chicago where we can do that with. And I want the Blackhawks to be that this year because hockey's back. Hockey's fun and exciting. I love watching it. And sometimes you can forget about the score when you're just watching hockey. Okay, so do you think you're going to be mad at the Bulls then? No. I mean, yes. I'm going to be. I'm already mad at the Bulls. Okay, already mad. They've inserted. Interesting. I, well, they had a preseason game last night and they won. Oh, good for them. But Lonzo Ball didn't play with all I, that hype. Well... He shouldn't. He's on a streak. Why would he ruin it? Twenty-two million dollars not to play. But can we agree to that to just watch hockey and enjoy it? Case, can you do that or not? I, I can do that, Brian. I will try to live life the way you live life, and I will try to just enjoy the Blackhawks season for what it is. Although I watched the game last night, it was quite annoyed with what I saw. But that was game one. I have plenty of other games this year where I can just watch it and try to enjoy it. Okay. I'll tell you what, Brian. I will raise you one. Oh boy. I won't even watch it, and I'll be happy. Well, that's not that's there not good. Go. No, no. I got you. I won't pay attention at all. Don't well, worry about it. Well, to be honest, it's much more difficult to watch. Last night was on ESPN, but yes. the rest of them will be on the Chicago Sports Network, which none of us have. No. Oh, I've got the antenna. Oh, you have the antenna? I just haven't I haven't tried to get Chicago Sports Network yet. So you have to, like, move it around till you find it? Does it actually work like that? Yeah, Case is outside his window. So you got to, like, spread eagle <laughs> it, put them together, he's peace t- sign. He's got tinfoil on it. You know, back in the old so days. So you really that. just have to move them until it shows up? So, like, does Mackenzie have to be inside? And you're like, is it there? Is it there? And you move them around? Mackenzie's on the roof of his high rise with the <laughs> antenna. But, like, I'm for real, is that how it works? No, I you, don't. if you get an HD antenna, pretty much you plug it in, and it kind of works right away. Oh. Uh, but the problem is finding it 62.2, I think. Yeah, Kenzie, you don't change channels by moving the antenna. But she's no, thinking about old days of reception. But you get it, like, to come in. Okay. You know no, what I'm HD receiver, it, it comes in pretty clear. Yeah, it's oh. not like the old days where you... Had to like kind of like you're talking about. I've seen that. I've seen people twist them. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. To get reception. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you can buy the HD antenna from like Target for 20 bucks, and then you can try to find the channel to watch Blackhawks, Bulls, and White Sox next season. Or, or you could just not do that. <laughs> very, very true, Brian. Very true. All right, the, the Bulls did open the preseason with a win yesterday. Kobe White dropped 21. As I mentioned, Lonzo Ball did not play yet. So again, I want to make this. As specific as I can, my my baby turns two next month. She she's been alive for almost two years. Lonzo yes, that's Ball. What that means. She has not seen Lonzo Ball play basketball. 
And good for him, damn it. No, He's no. on a streak. I'm proud of him. He's part of destroying this team and the culture. Like, I don't know what happened with the Jets. Aaron Rodgers destroyed their culture. They fired their coach yesterday, uh, Robert Sala. And I also find this incredibly interesting. that He's been there three years. He makes millions of dollars from the organization. He's still, like us, when you get fired, got escorted out of the building by security. <laughs> hey, what's Why he going to always do that? What's he going to do, steal a pencil? That's what I mean. Now, I, I know what they're afraid of. They're afraid of maybe violence or something like that. But I think they know him well enough at this point where, hey, you know, you're still good. You made about $10 million from us, right? No, no. Aaron has to get his way. Um, this is, you know, the Aaron Rodgers way. He's going to complain. Nothing's his fault. Every, You know, everything is everybody else's problem. Yeah, despite the fact that he didn't show up for training camp and has no chemistry with any of his receivers. Well, he was busy. Uh, yeah, no, I'm ser- he was sitting in a dark cave somewhere doing his own <laughs> research. Shopping mushrooms. Yeah, no, he's a real stand-up guy. I'm now, glad that, you know, he continues to get coaches fired wherever he goes. To your point... They say he had nothing to do with it. Oh, Aaron sure. Rodgers had nothing yeah, to do yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> never control the coaches. No. So, anyway, the Jets, uh, they don't have a coach right now. They're promoting the guy, that, you know, the defensive coordinator. Uh, Padres beat the Dodgers last night. How about that? Ooh. Now, that could have been because the pitcher had his $100,000 watch stolen. Uh, the night before. Walker so Bueller. what's the stat on that case of when a pitcher gets robbed? Uh, not good because yeah. Walker Bueller pitched terribly last exactly. night. Exactly. <laughs> so now you can start building that. Yeah. From a website on people that have gotten robbed and how they pitch the next That's day. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's now a we long know. URL. <laughs> <laughs> Dot com. Yeah. Uh, so the Padres beat the Dodgers 2-1. Today at 4, you got uh, the next game. Mets crushed the Phillies 7-2. My household was not happy yesterday with my Ugh. wife being from Philadelphia. Um, and you feel safe, though? Are you okay? I'll blink my eyes later. Okay, you know got I'm it, safe. got it, got it, got it. And Guardians at the Tigers, and that series is tied at 1-1 today. And the Phillies and Mets play also today as well, 4 o'clock for that game. It could be the end of it. Finally, uh, every time you hear this song on Sunday Night Football, Carrie Underwood, she makes a million dollars every time the song's played. Oh, okay, that you just been in general? Like, for what? No, I thought maybe she got a million dollars to do the song. That no, seems, seems every reasonable. Time it's played, like, yeah. right now, did she just get a million? She got a million bucks right now, boom. Okay. Unbelievable. Yeah, how about that? Uh, every, she took over for Faith Hill. Uh, 11 years ago, and I, I love Carrie Underwood, but I loved Faith Hale doing it. I love I Faith I love Hale. Carrie doing it. You know what I'm really surprised by? How has Carrie Underwood not done a Super Bowl? She's like the voice of the NFL. I'm sure it's coming. It's like crazy. Yeah. And she, she has an insane show in Vegas. I saw it. So, like, she could do really, really big shows. She's pretty good. She's pretty good at the singing. So she makes $36 million between this year and the last of 18 weeks of the NFL season. $36 million on this one-minute song alone. Now, to her credit, she does change the teams in it every week, but she said she records that all in advance before the season. So she just sits down for one day a session, sings mm-hmm. the song, sings the matchups, and then goes home. And then makes a lot of money. $36 million. That's a good, that's almost how much I need to be happy in retirement. It sounds about right. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q. 101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Get on the phones, 312-591-8300 to compete against Kenzie in trivia today. Clash with Kenzie. And a reminder for you that... Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It's Christmas. Well, we haven't done Halloween yet, the Halloween pop-up on the way. We haven't done Thanksgiving yet. A twisted Christmas. We've gotten at least 100,000 texts and emails and calls about when we're going to announce it. We are going to announce Twisted Christmas 2024 on Tuesday, so that's coming up October 15th, next week, next Tuesday at 8 a.m., right here with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. And the tickets from the pre-sale will start right then for the tickets. We'll give out all the information. We can tell you right now it will be the second week of December, that December 9th week. That's when it's going to be. Uh, but we're not going to tell you anything else about this incredible event every Except year. No. What? No, no, no. Okay. No. Stay off the email. Don't have any fun. No, no. no <laughs> the, the fun will happen Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. The announcement of Q101's Twisted Christmas. The Brian and Kenzie Show on Q101. You can't defeat her. She's too powerful. Clash with Kenzie. <laughs> Let the battle begin. Q. 101. And it is Clash with Kenzie. Competing today against Kenzie is John checking in from Cedar Lake. John, ahoy, tell us something about yourself. 
Ahoy! Uh, I was born in the Philippines, but I've uh, I've lived here my whole life. Uh, I'm hoping I can tell my fiance, who we just got engaged uh, two weeks ago, that uh, I competed on the radio for trivia. So uh, hopefully, I win. Wow! Oh my God, he's so sweet! And congratulations! Thank you, thank you. Oh, I love him. He's crying. Are you crying about your fiance? <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you crying? No, 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 no. I'm just, uh, I'm excited. I'm uh, nervous. Oh, okay. Take a deep <laughs> breath. Take a deep breath. Yeah. <sighs> sorry, first time calling in. Appreciate you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Love you for that. Yeah. All right. There's no uh, pressure. In the, there's no pressure. Just the honor of your life and representing the Philippines. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the you know, Philippines. It'll, it'll come through strong, I hope. Yeah. You're like the singer of Journey. <laughs> um. You know, like that guy represents the Philippines and you do here today. There's, you two represent all of the Philippines. Okay. <laughs> no pressure. All right, here we go. First one of five it. wins. Listen carefully. If Kenzie gets one wrong, you can steal a point. She can do the same with you. Call heads or tails, John? Uh, heads. It is heads. That's the first win Woo. in a while for a listener, I think. There you go. Look at him. Power Already the Philippines. He knows pride. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> all right, John, here we go. Question number one. What kind of animal was Disney's Bambi? Uh, a, a deer. A deer is a right. Deer. A baby deer. Baby deer. Uh, Kenzie, Wings Beer Sports is the slogan for what restaurant? You. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. It's uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, it's my motto. Uh, <laughs> one to one. Uh, John, who gets nothing but rocks while trick-or-treating in It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown? Oh, I forgot his name. He's the guy with the um, with the blanket. The guy with the blanket. Mm, I no. can't help you out there. Oh, oh, it was after the buzzer. It was after the buzzer. You said the guy oh. with the blanket, unfortunately. Oh, that would have been Linus. Yeah. Yeah. You're that the, been... Yeah. Li- yeah. Well, it's, it's Charlie Brown. <laughs> it's Charlie Brown. Thank and you, And you really Tansy. should not have said the whole name of the thing. Well, he still didn't get it. Yeah. A lot, a lot of characters in <laughs> so the Calm down. You won. <laughs> but Linus, how could you give Linus a rock? It was adorable. Poor guy sucking his thumb with his blanket. Yeah, poor guy. Yeah, but there's a lot of mean people out there, too. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to suck your thumb again? That brought me a lot of happiness as a I child. I mean, you can do it. Yeah, but it doesn't hit the same. Okay. Try it right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, put your thumb in your mouth. Sucking your thumb used to be awesome. If well, I look over and start seeing kids with his thumb in his mouth while he's producing the show. But think about it. Didn't it like, as a kid, that really that hit the sweet spot. Well, because so, it's soothing. No, I didn't do that. Oh. But, no, I'm not really? saying Really? You remember? I, I remember As birth. a baby, it never happened. <laughs> but I did suck the edge of my bed, the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> and that was so soothing to me for some reason. I, I, my sheets used to be soppy wet in the corners. That's disgusting. I know. Want to know what I did that was really bad? Is it disgusting? It's not disgusting, but it's bad, and it probably answers a lot of questions. Mm. I, my poor parents had to put a ton of tape on our remotes. I used to take the batteries out and suck on them. <laughs> I mean, you, you would just put like a whole thing of duct tape around. I was just like popping in my mouth like popcorn while watching TV. <laughs> How horrible is that? Battery acid. Did you ever lick a 9-volt battery to see if it's good or not still? Not still, but I, <laughs> I, let me tell you something. I craved different batteries. Like, it's like when you see dessert and you're like, oh, awesome. I'm like, oh, look with batteries here. Look, I'm trying to save a dollar here, of course, with a kid. Yeah. And our, our smoke alarm went off and said, change battery. And I went, it can't be. I just changed it like six months ago. It's got to still be good. So I went up there and I licked it and it had to charge still. But I go, well, it's my family. So I should still put a new battery in here. <laughs> this for lunch because it was delicious it's a great little <laughs> shock anyway all right two to one it's back to kenzie uh, uh john i hope you enjoyed that little interlude there and in, oh in yeah the, sorry trivia oh yeah <laughs> no worries uh let's see it's back to kenzie yep two to one uh what colors are the cat in the hats hat um black and red mm. no no blackhawks color she's trying to think there uh john do you know uh Red and white? Red and white. Tie game, 2-2. Uh, and it let's is go. Back to John. Let's go. John, what word game was launched in 2021 that gives players six attempts to guess a five-letter word? What was that game? Uh, uh, word scramble. No, it was not word scramble. Oh. Uh, Kenzie. Wordle. Wordle. It was wordle. Wordle. Wordle, wordle. wordle. Uh, is it back to John? No, it's back to Kenzie. Three to two, Kenzie's ahead. Kenzie, it's the, unbelievable I am. Kenzie, the dance known as The Twist mm-hmm. was most popular during what decade? Um, one that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah. um, it's still pretty. If, if people didn't do the start tw- with a two if you catch a drift. <laughs> but The Twist probably was the evolution of twerking. Mm. 
I don't think it went from twist to twerk. It could go like this to like this. <laughs> I just did both directions of my butt. I twisted it and then I put it out. You like a bop it. <laughs> Um, I, I'm going to say 60s. 60s is right. Okay. 60s is right. You know Chubby Checker who invented that is still alive? He's still alive? Yeah. I thought he'd been dead for 30 years. Like all the people what from that. What is his name? Chubby Checkers. Chubby Checker. Chubby Checkers. Not a nice name when people probably threw it upon him. He was a little heavy. It's kind of cute though. You Chubby Checkers. I agree. I feel like I'd call my baby that. <laughs> you Chubby Checkers. He's a cute guy. Uh, but he was he's 83 only. Wow. I would have assumed he was 120. Yeah. I mean, the twist, when you see that, it's not just black and white. It's like grainy black and white. Like it well, came it's like from like. Poodle like, skirts yeah. are doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Like whenever you see on a history channel when they do something from the Civil War and they somehow put some pictures together to make <laughs> movement, that's what the twist videos look like. <laughs> How can he still be alive? Good for him. You know what? Twist, probably a good exercise. Probably. Probably. That's it. Yeah. That makes sense. Good cardio. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Keeps your flexibility good. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I do feel bad for John. So, uh... It's four to two and it's back to John. Oh, boy. Uh, John. He's like at work. I can you imagine? <laughs> He's like, I really got to. <laughs> you weren't in a hurry or anything, were you, John? <laughs> no, no. I'm just, I'm on the way to work. Oh. Oh, okay, good. We're helping you kill time. There you go. Uh, John, yeah. which Netflix show is based on the life of Pablo Escobar? Oh, um, oh, what's the name of that show? I know, so good. Oh, three. I was just watching it the other day, too, and I can't remember the name. Three, um, two, one. I don't know. Oh, man, you're going to you're gonna really hate yourself when Kenzie uh, probably gives you the answer. Can I throw a flag on the play? Please. Why's that? You asked me this yesterday, yeah, and so I got Kenzie it right. Yeah, so Kenzie knows it. You did ask this yesterday. I mean, oh. I got it right when you asked me, but still, I don't think that's fair. Yes, so give Kenzie a new question. Okay, but that's Narcos is the answer, John. Yeah. Yes. Narcos is the answer. I'm not going to take the point for that. But it is back to Kenzie, yeah. and she can win with the correct answer. My bad. All good. My bad. All good. Great show, by the way. Oh, fantastic. Good stuff. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> I was hoping John was going to say Medellin. Oh, yeah. From Entourage. <laughs> when Vinny chased the <laughs> from, from See, the last I was literally just watching that show the other day, too, and I... Uh, I uh... It got, you got all con- <laughs> confrunkled. Actually, Pedro Pascal, yeah. big actor now, that's where he got his big fame, first big of fame was Narcos. He was in that. <laughs> All right, 4-2, uh, back to Kenzie. Kenzie, for the win, uh, who was caught lip-syncing on Saturday Night Live in 2004? Ashley Simpson. Ah, uh, Ashley Simpson's right. No. no. I, love him. I love him so much. <laughs> Listen, John, you represented the Philippines proudly and uh, also Cedar Lake. Give him my best shot, and that's all I can say. <laughs> that's all I can do, right? That's all you can do, man. Well, you have a good one. We love you, man. Thanks for listening. The Brian and Kenzie Show.